In my discussions with the King James Onlyus group, it seems that no matter what type of evidence you present, their response back is usually something like, no error in the King James Version has ever been proven. Well, I'm going to present an error, an indisputable error, found in the King James Version of the Bible. Now keep in mind that if their claim is there are zero errors, if I can prove one error, then that opens the possibility for additional errors within the King James Version of the Bible. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not slamming the King James. I do not reject the King James. I think it's a fine translation. What I do reject is the King James only as claim that the King James Version of the Bible is the one and only perfect inspired Word of God. We're going to take a look at Exodus chapter 25 verse 31 and here it is in the Hebrew text and specifically we're going to look at the middle part of that verse. The first word is miksha. This word means a beaten work. The second word is te ase, will be made. The next word, ha menorah, which is the menorah or the menorah. A noun that ends with a, the letter he, is a feminine noun. Menorah is a feminine word. In Hebrew, unlike English, all nouns are either masculine or feminine, and there's no neuter like there is in Greek and Spanish and some other languages. But in Hebrew, all nouns are either masculine or feminine. In this case, menorah is a feminine word. You can look that up in Strong's or any other Hebrew dictionary, and it will tell you that. Now, if we take that first line and put it together, we have a, the sentence reads, A beaten work will the menorah be made. In the second line, the first word is yarecha. This is the noun yareach, which means shaft, but it has the a suffix, which means her shaft. Now this pronoun, her, the feminine pronoun, matches the gender of the noun menorah. Menorah, remember, is a feminine noun. So when it's talking about the shaft of the menorah, it's her shaft. The next word is the kana, which means her branches. Again, the a suffix her matches the gender of the noun menorah. The next word, gevi'ea, her bowls. The next word, kaftorea, her knops. And the last word, ufrachea her flowers. Now when we translate the bottom line we have her shaft and her branches, her bowls, her knops, and her flowers. Now when we translate the whole thing we have a beaten work will the menorah be made, her shaft and her branches, her bowls, her knops, and her flowers. Now this is a literal translation from the Hebrew. Now here is what we have in the King James Version. A beaten work shall the candlestick be made, his shaft and his branches, his bowls, his knops, and his flowers. Notice the different genders of the pronouns between what the Hebrew says and what the King James Version says. It is very clear that for one reason or another, the King James used the wrong gender for the pronouns for the objects related to the menorah. Here we have in Exodus chapter 25 verse 31 a clear grammatical error 
in the King James Version of the Bible.